a light rain is falling down and during winter this means it's really warm I tried hiking to higher places hoping that the temperature will get lower and I will get snowfall but it's this kind of rain on the entire region where I'm at right now I want the videos that I'm posting on this channel to be entertaining so this means you like the videos, you feel inspired by it, you want to go out and photograph some more but I also want to pass on my knowledge I want to include in this video tips and tricks and hacks and whatever you want to call it things that will help you improve your photography skills and your photography game So in this video I want to share with you five obvious tips and tricks to up your landscape photography game really fast why fast because we all love fast we all want to evolve fast we all want to get fast good results that is why i'm thinking fast and i guarantee 100 percent no i'm guaranteeing 110 percent that if you follow these obvious five tips your photography will improve from the first time that you're going to use them so stay with me and i'll tell you what these tips are Tip number one and this is the most important tip that I can offer if someone asks me what is one tip that you can give me to improve my photography this is the tip that I'm offering are you ready so obvious no what you are photographed it's common sense right so many photographers avoid thinking of what they are actually photographed so tell me if this happened to you you drive by you see something interesting you stop you photograph it you look at the photo and you say oh crap it looks like shit this is because you are not paying attention to what you're photographing knowing what you are really photographing okay you may say i like this landscape no what you are actually liking is the light falling on the trees the light falling on a rock how the smoke is coming from the chimney of an old house you need to be conscious of this thing you need to look inside you you need to be aware of what you are really photographing the moment you know what you're really photographing is the moment that some wheels start spinning so you're starting to think how am i framing this what settings am i using where am i sitting how i'm going to edit this photo the whole thing, the whole thinking process is activated by just this thought. What am I photographing here? And this is something that I teach at my workshops. How to identify the true subject of your photos. Tip number two, the most obvious one. Photograph during sunrise. You see, I'm not saying photograph during sunset. You can go photograph during sunset. The light is gorgeous. But the best light that Mother Nature can offer is during sunrise there is no question about it the quality of the light is the best the quality of your photos are going to be the best now what you need to do during sunrise is arrive 30 to 40 minutes before the actual sun is rising above the horizon why is that let me show you this photo you see this photo was made about 20 to 30 minutes before the actual sunrise so the real magic is happening if there are clouds in the sky before the sun is actually rising knowing what you want to photograph and placing that subject in the best light possible the sunrise light going to ensure a good photo number three again a really obvious thing use a tripod if you want sharp images i'm not saying to photograph only by using a tripod there are situations when it's best to not use a tripod there are situations when it's best to find your composition without a tripod but if you want sharp images use a tripod we as landscape photographers usually photograph at close apertures like f8 f11 sometimes even f16 and f22 in order to have sharp images at those apertures you need to use a tripod because the exposure time is going to be longer tip number four a polarizer filter can make or break a photo let me explain what i mean by this there are situations especially when you are using wide lenses when you rotate the polarizer and it polarizes only a part of the sky like i'm showing you in this photo over here and this looks odd this looks strange it doesn't look good so don't use it also don't overuse it there are situations when you're rotating your polarizer and the sky becomes almost black then you are overdoing it learn the best way of using a polarizer filter tip number five and i see this mistake so often during my workshop you have a tripod but you don't have a 
trigger. Why is the trigger so important? Because it is. What's good having a tripod if you're not going to use a trigger? People say, I'm going to use the timer. Yes, if you're going to use the timer, you'll have to be set it on 10 seconds. And waiting for 10 seconds, pfft, come on. For me, it's not going to work. You use a trigger. It's the less expensive accessory that you are going to buy. It, Compared with the cost of your equipment, it costs nothing. So these were the five tips, but wait, wait. I feel great today, so I'm offering you a bonus tip. This is tip number six. And this is not directly related to photography, to landscape photography. In order to do good landscape photography, you need to have a good mindset. In order to have a good mindset, you need to feel good. In order to feel good, you don't need to feel hungry thirsty, cold or wet. Let me explain. Hungry, it's easy. You can eat whatever you want. Thirsty, during cold conditions like this, I recommend having a warm drink. It's not fun drinking cold water in cold weather. Staying warm and dry depends on your equipment. I like to use clothings that are specially designed for outdoors. Your call what type of clothing you are using. So here you go. Those were my five tips plus the bonus. Don't forget the bonus. And let me guarantee again that if you're going to use those tips, you're going to up your level in landscape photography in no time. Remember, know what you're going to photograph. Go to the sunrise before the sunrise with about 30 to 40 minutes. Use a polarizer filter, but learn how to use it. Learn when to use it and learn when not to use it. Use a tripod if you want sharp images and also buy a remote control. So if you like this video, share it with your friends, like it and maybe leave a comment below to tell me what you think about this type of video. And also, if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribe to my YouTube channel. Pretty please. With sugar on top? Okay, with no sugar on top. So, until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.